Hmm? This object is still unconscious. I may have overestimated how much sedative was needed. Clearly, humans are a rather delicate species. Hmm? Oh, I stand corrected. The human has awoken. I will now begin the preliminary assessment. Remain calm, human. You have been abducted for a brief, non-invasive study. You will be returned to your residence after the study has concluded. With no memories of the experience, with no scars, implants, or missing body parts. You've been restrained for your own safety as well as mine. You're probably curious about what I am. Frankly, I couldn't care less of what you're curious about. But I have to obey protocol if I want to conduct studies on lesser species. Waste of time. It's not like you remember any of this. Anyway, I'm a member of the Zirin species. It's spelled Z-E-R-R-I-N. We're an advanced race. You'd consider us aliens. We control a few star systems on the other side of the galaxy. Our laws dictate that we cannot interfere with the development of a less advanced races, which is why we haven't contacted your planet openly. Of course, that's supposed to be how it is, but you humans have become a subject of unusual interest among my people. Well, Zirans tend to find humans beautiful, your primitive lifestyle notwithstanding, to a problematic degree. Quite a few Zirans are leaving to live among humans in secret. And some lawless groups are even abducting humans and bringing them home with them. It's becoming a serious issue. The fact you haven't learned about our existence is nothing short of a miracle. I'm conducting a study to determine what exactly is behind this phenomenon. My personal hypothesis is that it's all a rumor and exaggeration. Your kind has been mythologized. And once a Zirin goes for all the effort to reach Earth, which is no easy feat, they lie to themselves and say that you're all just as wonderful as advertised to justify the trip. I'm going to take some verbal notes during the study, so don't mind my train of thought. Lay back and relax. Or don't, it doesn't matter to me. Anyways. Initial observation. I must confess, there's clearly something to the rumors. The fact our species looks so much alike is an incredible coincidence. The subject looks like a Zirin, except idealized. As if one of our own have been genetically engineered to perfectly fit conventional beauty standards. I'm uncertain if all humans are this way, or if this one is an exceptional specimen. More data is needed. Their voice is also very easy on the ears, smooth and metallic. Yes, if I had to describe it precisely, I'm uncertain if this is what they truly sound like, or if the universal translator is altering it for some reason. Perhaps it doesn't matter. Most Zirans will use the translator anyway. Of course, it remains to be seen whether humans are truly good companions. That they be considered attractive by our standards is stretching probability far enough as it is. 
I personally don't doubt that they make for pleasant company. This study will determine how compatible Zirans and humans are with each other, whether long-term compatibility is actually feasible. At the risk of sounding impartial, I think the ideal result of this study would be to find that humans are too primitive and barbaric to make good partners. This discovery could end the wave of unsanctioned visits to Earth. First, I need some basic information about your body. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Just because you look nice doesn't mean you have, I don't know, acid sweat or hidden venomous spines or something. I've taken some scans and some measurements while you were unconscious. So that's probably not the case, but there is a few things that could be useful to know that require your cooperation. Keep in mind that the more helpful you are with this study, the sooner you can be returned home. Let's start with some deep breaths. Deep breath in. Hold. Deep breath out. Again. Deep breath in. Hold. Out. Hmm. The lung capacity is good. You wouldn't have a problem living in our atmosphere. Hmm. I can assume that the reverse is also true. Next, I'm going to show you a screen. When you see it change color, tell me what color you've seen. Mm-hmm. Yellow. Red. Good. Purple. Correct. Hmm? No. That's just a different shade of purple. What's blue? Interesting. Interesting. Your eyes work differently to ours. Then, that could be a concern for Zirans trying to blend in. If any humans got suspicious, they could seek out anyone who can't see this blue color. However, there are easier ways to identify a Zirin, if you know what to look for. Unfortunately, this won't be enough to deter human lovers. Now, I'm just going to get a bit closer to, uh, it, is that you? The, uh, the smell, I mean. Hmm. It must be you smell. It's hard to describe. Sweet, I think. It's undeniably pleasant. Frustratingly so. I need to remember to run a scan for potential pheromones compatible with Zarin biology. That's Zarin. And an eye in. Very good. Perhaps this could explain some of the fanaticism towards you. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have inhaled so deeply. I'm beginning to feel lightheaded. I'm going to go ahead and say that the pheromone theory is likely. It's remarkable that it has an effect on Zarens. Let's see. I'm curious about your... some of your facial features here. 
Are they as pliable as... Oh. That took me by surprise. Y your skin is much softer than I would have expected. I think it might have been a mistake to touch you without gloves, honestly. But now that I already have... <laughs> Remarkable. It's so pliable and stretchy. Very unexpected. I would have expected a primitive race to have been rough, dry skin. It's very pleasant to the touch. Pardon me while I make some more notes. I must amend my previous hypothesis. There certainly is something to the rumors. If this specimen does indeed properly represent humans, then their species are pleasing to the eyes. To all senses, really. I haven't tested taste, of course, and I don't plan to. Uh, unless I were sh to find it strictly necessary, of course. This is irritating. Humans can't actually be this enticing. A completely separate species that evolved on a completely different planet shouldn't align with our beauty standards at all, let alone so perfectly. Something must be going on here. Perhaps your Zarin descendant? Maybe a group of Zarins in early days of space travel secretly settled here. I'll have to investigate to see if humans stand out from native life or not. Perhaps some records that go back that far. Hmm, or am I being tricked? What if this is all some sort of setup? And... Maybe we're all being fooled by some alien race, even more advanced than we are. Why? What would be the point? Maybe my supervisor was right. I do sound unhinged. But maybe I just can't accept this. There can't be a whole planet of bizarrely gorgeous aliens just perfect for us. I mean, how could I compete with that? It would mean... I... It might seem she was right to leave. <sighs> Human. I think maybe I've let you get caught up into an obsession of mine. There was somebody I was in love with. She was just, just amazing. And I was so thrilled when she gave me a chance. The, the relationship, it ended up being a lot of work for both of us. When she heard rumors about humans, well... She left. She said she needed something different. Something that felt magical. I wanted to believe that she was chasing some stupid fantasy. That she made a huge mistake. But now I wonder. Mm. No, no. It was definitely not a mistake. Look at me. I've been only evaluating you based on attractiveness alone. How shallow is that? The real issue is compatibility. That's what I need to figure out, whether humans can actually make good partners. No, not just eye candy. I don't have any tests prepared for that, though I was so certain the rumors were false. 
I did not even consider that I might need some further investigation. I'm going to have to figure out some tests to learn if humans can be long-term companions. In the meantime, I suppose you are staying here with me. It's not exactly ideal, for you at least. I confess that I don't mind too much. That is, well, I can't keep you restrained to the examining table the whole time, can I? You won't... You won't attack me if I release you, right? But I don't think humans are inherently violent, or there wouldn't be so many Zerons coming here. Alright, if you say so. I guess if you do attack me, I can be fairly certain humans aren't suited as partners, at least. Okay, good. Well, I'm better prepared a holding cell for you. Uh, sorry. Poor choice of words. It will be more comfortable than it sounds, I assure you. It's going to be nice having you around. It's been a pretty lonely journey. Having someone around is going to be refreshing. Especially someone so nice to look at. <laughs> well, uh, follow me. I should be able to have the next set of tests ready soon. It's inconvenient, I know. But you're going to be part of some very... Very important research. This should do a lot of good for both our kinds. I look forward to working with you quite a bit. <laughs>